Hello friends, um, because of internet problem, it's very difficult to take a video class, so I have decided to go through this audio notes. Okay, this is a pictorial representation of uh, geometrical significance of double integration as well as a single integration. Well, you can see, just give me a minute, let me... Okay, I'll be using this red color point as a kosher. You can follow me through this. Well, the first picture is a double integration. So I'm sorry, the first picture is a single definite integration which all of you are used to with. That is, if you have an integration of a function from A to B, say A and B are two points on x-axis, then integration of this function, that is integration of this curve, will give us an area under the curve from point A to B. This is a well-known fact. Now, some of the things I want you to put stress on are when you integrate, a sing when you perform a single integration, you integrate it from point A to point B. Now, I'm saying from one point to another point. Then you'll get an area. Now, come back to double integration. Now, when we will deal with double integration? Now, double integration is for a function which has more than one independent variable. Have a look. This z equals to f of x, y. Here, function f is not a single variable function as over here. Okay, this is for one dimension. So, over here, function is of two dimension. That is two, not two dimension. I, I must say function is of two variable function that is the two independent variables are as the input so what you will get if you plot this z equals to f of x y hmm? like you if you plot y equals to f of x you will get curve like this or maybe any other form what you will get if you plot z equals to f of x y if you plot this you will get a surface instead of curve so this gridded uh, surface is what i have assumed z equals to f of x y surface can be anything it can be plane it can be spare it can be paraboloid or any other surface or in general it can be anything but it has to be a surface now what are few points that will distinguish single integration i mean that will distinguish double integration from single integration now in case of a double integration the limits are important and we will not integrate from one point to another point as we do in single integration. We have to integrate within some region. So this R, this shaded region R is the integration region. Then if you double integrate the function within this region, then you will get a volume of this region covered by the surface for planes and this region R. Now, in general, this region can be anything. It can be a circular region. It can be, it can be any 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 uh, any shape and size. Okay. But for simplicity, here I have considered the region of integration to be rectangle. Okay. So, what is the significance? Significance is we will get a volume if we do a double integration. So, let's proceed further. So, this is. Uh, in short, I will discuss how to perform the integration. Well, you don't have to worry about integration technique because whatever integration technique you know for a single integration, same technique is what we are going to use to double integrate a function. So only you have to take care of is first you have to handle one of the integration completely. Then you have to handle second integration. How will we do this? For instance, in this particular problem, the first integration is with respect to dx. So I have segregated this term. You will integrate this by keeping y as constant. Remember this, when you integrate with respect to x, you have to keep y as constant. Once you integrate it, put the limit for x. I'll repeat, put the limit for x because this is an integration with respect to x. y will remain as it is as a constant like here integration will give you this quantity now put the limit for x y will still remain inside that expression 
Now once you are done with x integration, once you substitute all the limits, then you perform the second integration or I will call it as outer integration. So here outer integration is now with respect to y as in usual sense you can integrate it with respect to y and put the limit for y equals to 1 to 2 and substitute. So here we are done with the problem. So this is how we perform double integration. First you integrate the inner integration keeping that variable constant and you integrate the outer integration keeping, I mean using the uh, inner integration result. Well, there are few things that are very important and I'll discuss it in detail later. But let me tell you what are those things. First is over here, the problem is very simple because the limits are constant. Okay, limits are constant. So problem is simple. Next, we are going to handle the problem where the limits are variable. Second thing, here I have decided to integrate with respect to x first, then I have integrated with respect to y first. So this is not always a case. We have a spatial problem or spatial topic in which we will see whether I have to integrate with respect dx first or we have to integrate with respect to dy. But that will be taken care of later on when we deal with the topic change of order. Now, next. So here is another problem, I mean example, where the problem is not having a constant limit. One of the limit is variable. Now, how do you integrate? Exactly similar way, you first integrate with respect to y in this case, because dy is in front. So when you integrate with respect to y, you keep x as constant. See, y square integration is y cubed by 3, x is constant. Now put the limit whatever is the limit value over here put exactly the same limit y equal to x square and y equal to x in this function but keeping x as constant x will remain x after substituting limit you will get everything now in terms of x then you integrate with respect to dx you will get the result okay let me tell you one very important thing if both the limits are constant no need to worry you can integrate you can keep either x limit first or y limit first i will repeat if both the limits are constant over here it is not so first inner inner limits are variable so if both the limits are constant both you i'm sorry both the limits are constant then whether you integrate the inner integration or you integrate the outer integration first doesn't matter but if the limits are not constant if the limits are in the variable form and I'll discuss in detail when the limits will be in variable form later for now if the limits any one of the limits are variable then variable limit will always for inner integration I'll repeat variable limit will be always for inner integration and outer integration will all the time 24 into 7 have constant limit okay this is the nature of double integration you cannot have variable limit in, for outside integration or for the outer integration outer integration will always have a constant limit if there is a variable limit in the integration as a whole that will be for the inner integration i hope this is clear well here is one problem where you are asked to integrate this particular expression which is very simple with respect to uh, within the region capital D so this capital D is important now do not get confused with this I'm not going to search here for area or something like that okay let us try to relate everything with the previous example over here double integration is there but no limit is given but the reason of integration is given if you can recall the previous uh, if you, you can go back to first slide and you will see that region R okay you can go back to first slide and you can see that region R that R is actually replaced by D here now when I draw this particular area we will discuss it now this area is not area or not a volume or something like that this is simply the region we are not interested to show the volume or what is the shape we will get 
we are simply interested to identify the region and this region is important because we have to set the limits of integration well that particular function you are going to integrate this 3 minus x minus y I have not plotted the function over here and it is not required also okay function if you wish to plot it will come out of your computer screen because x-axis is here y-axis is here then obviously this function z equals to this function should come out of the screen so I hope this is clear now let us see how to integrate now they are here the problem is to integrate this function within the region capital D but what is this capital D so it is clearly mentioned here where capital D is a triangle okay bounded by x-axis line y is equal to x and x is equal to 1 so what is x-axis x-axis is obviously this y equal to 0 line and another line y is equal to x it is clear for everyone this is y equal to x and one more line that is x is equal to 1 which is this line so this is the region of integration we have to integrate within this region now there is a uh, there is a different way there are different ways to understand this integration technique but I follow this way and I obviously I'm going to explain you or uh, I'm going to uh, give you the technique which I do follow to integrate the function now how do I integrate now your intention should be to cover the whole region okay here these are not two different integrations but these are two different part of integration inner integration and outer integration I have shown here separately now let's proceed further so this is the integration you do not have to worry at all about this function function is very simple function only the thing we have to take care of is a limit okay now how will you integrate listen to this carefully in case of single integration we integrate from one point to another point but in case of a double integration you are going to cover the whole region okay in case of a single integration you will cover a definite length for definite integral from one point to another point over here you are going to cover a whole region so we have to integrate from one curve to another curve I'll repeat in case of double integral we have to integrate from one curve to another curve not from one point to another point so let us first find out which curve to which curve we are going to integrate now according to uh, question nothing is mentioned regarding whether I have to integrate with respect to X or with respect to Y first so I have here decided to integrate with respect to Y first so you have to integrate in y direction so arrow shows that I am performing integration in y direction then my this whole integration will be from curve y is equals to 0 this y equal to 0 is not a point remember this is a curve in fact it is a straight line so I'm using in general it as a I'm calling it as a curve so y is equals to 0 up to which line it will go in y direction extreme line on y direction is y is equals to x curve so this is how we integrate okay from y is equals to 0 towards y is equals to x so the inner integration is from y is equals to 0 to y is equals to x once you set inner integration okay then how about the outer integration now here you have to be careful definitely if I ask you some of you may answer this way outer integration will be in x direction of course from this curve to this curve you may answer in this way but this is not correct you should think it in this way once you integrate in y direction okay then in order to cover up whole region uh, let me call casually I'm saying let me call this integration or let me call this vertical strips as an integrated part okay that is the first integration then second part is just to cover or just to collect all this vertical lines okay so from way to way do I have to collect this it it is from right from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 okay that way I will cover the whole triangular region I'll repeat this first of all you integrate in y direction in this way so I'm I'm denoting it like this vertical line shows that it has been integrated or this arrow shows that it has been integrated in y direction next in order to integrate in x direction you do not have to integrate from 
again this line to this line because you just have to do is collect all this vertical strips from left extreme left it start from 0 and extreme right it start from 1 so this way we integrate this is this is the uh, I mean this is the way to cover up whole region in case of a double integration and I, I visualize things this way you can find other simple way to understand the problem but this way uh, there will no confusion first you integrate in one direction and just denote them with a vertical strips and second part is to collect that vertical strip from extreme x point to ex extreme uh, sorry extreme left part to extreme right part in this case okay because here uh, x direction integration is the outer integration that's why and uh, that is the reason why the outer integration will always have a constant limit so here from 0 to x in an integration integrate it then 0 to 1 is the outer integration integrate it you will get the answer I hope this is clear so here are a few more problems basically this problem is obviously from the tutorial sheet so I have decided to solve one by one the first integration is very easy because limit is already given I repeat again the main task in double integration is to set the limit and to draw the figure but over here limit is constant you do not have to worry if limit is constant you can integrate straightforward way integrate with respect to y like we did here and integrate with respect to x and substitute the limit similar way okay but but 2 is quite different because you are asked to evaluate this function x y is the function dx dy where r is the domain bounded by x axis ordinate x is equal to 2a and the curve x is square equal to 4ay so over here the region of integration r is this region okay just hold a minute what about the region in this integration if you if you have to define the region in this integration what could be the region well I'll try to draw something it is very difficult but let me try okay for this particular problem suppose this is x-axis and suppose this is y-axis I'm sorry this is x-axis and this is y-axis then what is the region here you have integration from y is equals to 1 what will be y equal to 1 y equal to y equal to 1 2 y equals to 3 suppose this is y equal to 3 okay then x is equal to 1 so let me call this as x is equal to 1 and up to x is equal to 2 <laughs> my figure is not good I'm sorry for this it's very difficult to draw the figure in mouse I mean this laptop track but at least if I get a mouse then I would make it better but anyway I think this is understood you guys can follow this I'm not going to write down all the label I'm not going to label the curve it's quite difficult like this is x axis let me try this is your y axis okay then this particular region is the region of integration in this for this first problem so x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 2 x is y is equal sorry y equals to 1 to y is equals to 3 this is your 3 oh nice <laughs> this is your 1 this is again this line is 1 and uh, this line is also 1 and this line is your now let me try line is 2 okay I do not know whether this whatever I'm writing on this page is visible to you or not <coughs> but this particular integration will give us sorry th this particular limit will give us this type of figure and one thing is clear now if the region of integration is square or rectangle but the sides should be parallel to coordinate axis then limit will always remain constant okay keep it in mind now next let us proceed further to understand the second part of the problem okay, let me take 
my cursor back hmm. now in order to understand second problem so I hope region is clear x axis so this is x axis y equal to 0 is x axis ordinate x is equal to 2 so this line is x is equal to 2 and the curve is here parabola this way now how will you integrate you have to cover up whole region so how will you do that now first integration is with respect to y so you will integrate in y direction that is you uh, this vertical arrows are as if integration along y direction then from which curve to which curve you integrate y don't go this side you can look into this figure and you can uh, you can predict what would be the integration limit definitely this curve the base curve is y equal to 0 then the another end the curve is I mean to cover up the whole region keeping in mind curve at the another end in y direction is y is equals to x square by 4a you just have to do is write down the value of y from the equation given so y will be equal to this much so is the limit here okay then next is now you are not going to integrate from curve to curve for the outer integration outer integration is to collect this vertical strips from way to way from extreme this point to extreme this point it is clear it is from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2a or you may you may focus on this part that is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2a okay i hope this is understood now the limit integration part you can easily verify how to integrate all of you know so this is it okay there is a third problem which is uh, again a function over the region bounded by the curve y is equals to x square line y is equals to x only two yeah this here only two reason is there so over here I have decided not to plot the figure for you and I just have solved the problem now I want you to try the figure but uh, let me give you a hint obviously this is x and this is sorry this is x axis and this is your y axis I'm sorry if this drawing is not visible to you because I'm, I'm using this particular audio PowerPoint for the first time I do not know whether it's only me who is able to see this or maybe I hope you guys are able to see this so you have a curve y is equals to x square now here is a big deal to draw y is equals to x square hey, come up come up yeah something like this parabola and y is equals to x here is another curve which is some um, go 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 straight straight yeah like this <laughs> figure is pathetic so y is equals to x square is this and y is equals to x is this so only two curves are here to cover up the region how do I integrate suppose here integration uh, it's not suppose integration here over here is with respect to dy first okay dy first so in y direction from which curve to which curve from the lower curve what is the value of y on this curve y on this curve is x square and what is the value of y on the top on this curve here y is equals to x so integration limit is understood now once you integrate it in this way in this direction once you integrate in this direction then you just have to do is collect this all vertical strips like that so from way to way from extreme this point from extreme this point to now I do not know the coordinate of this so what I have to do is I have to actually solve this two curve to get this point so this part is your exercise that is if you solve this curve and this curve you will get this intersection point as a solution and you will see that this point will be equal to 1 okay so that is x coordinate is 1 so you will integrate it from 0 to 1 but but I think uh, there is a mistake this limit should not be 2 I think uh, why it is coming to uh, yeah maybe it is due to some copy paste problem so I want you guys to just ignore this okay this limit I repeat this this limit is not from 1 to 2 this is a mistake this limits are from 0 to you you follow this limit okay you follow this limit and same is for this also 
to take care of this you follow this limit it's from 0 to 1 and it's from 0 to 1 I, I, I think at the end it is done here and there is some misprinting here but no issue uh, I think this will be an exercise for you to go through this okay this is how we handle a simple integration where either the limits are given or the area or the region where we have to integrate is given then we will handle the problem this way